Hello and welcome to the 8th episode of Let's Play Planet Coaster. Once again, we are back in Project Utopia, working on the Enchanted Forest section of the park, but this will actually be the last uh, video for this section of the park. We are finally going to be moving on into the second area um, called Rivertown in the next episode, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up, wrap up, and by talking about what's going on here in this area, in the final um, build part here going on of the Enchanted Forest, which is mainly actually building the forest. Um, and there was a lot of kind of stuff I built, and I actually decided, you know, after, as I built a lot of the different buildings for food and drinks and rides and stuff like that, I always said, hey, I'll come back and I'll actually put a bunch of woods around it to make it look like it's somehow, you know, deep in the woods, lost in the foliage kind of thing. So, so now it's actually time to make that a reality here. So what you see me working on is actually the top of the hill and kind of this downward slope of the third lift hill of uh, Forest Lord. And you see, uh, earlier I placed a bunch of rock. As I said, I'm following kind of that three-step process to really make sure that I hit, make these four as detailed and realistic as possible. First one being the rocks, or rocks and or bushes. You know, I kind of use those first two steps interchangeably. just kind of depends on what kind of fuel I want for that area. And this, finally, I add trees over all of it. So I make sure I have some ground texture. If they happen to be looking at the park or happen to be looking at the woods at some sort of ground level, they get a good set view. But also, if they're looking from a higher up perspective, they also get that as well. So you see here, I'm kind of working on this. I already placed the I placed the rocks in the bushes earlier. I use a combination of some of those, um, a little bit of flowers, of lots of those really small bushes that you can place all over the place in a lot of the forest, uh, forest type bushes that you can be found in Planet Coaster to really make this area kind of dense. Um... I also use rocks. I use a pull from the tropical and the um, to the two other rock sets that you see me using in the set. So those three rock sets kind of make sure I have an all around uh, good composition of rocks throughout this area. And I always start when I'm making these forests by placing the oak trees. I remember I talked about this in the last episode, so I'm being brief. Uh, I talk about the oak trees, and I come filling in with some of the birch trees, some of these evergreen trees, and I actually come up with some of the ash trees and um, the sycamore trees to make sure I've already actually used the sycamore ash and trees before. But uh, I came in and I filled in this to the rest of the area with them. Uh, one of the problems that I really encountered when I was doing this was a trying to get stuff to actually go over the track. So I wanted to have a lot of those, you know, head choppers kind of thing, head chopper kind of effect, where you know the track, the tree branch is right over your head as it flies over, so it feels like you're about to get your head cut off kind of thing, when you're really not, even though it's actually safe. You see, as I'm moving this tree here, I was having a problem trying to get it the right height above the track to make sure it wasn't actually going to interfere. That was definitely a problem that I encountered when I was trying to build a lot of this forest to make sure some of the elements are thrilling. This is why you'll notice after the first lift tail, once we get to that point of this video, that um, I, in fact, made a rock structure and I had some well-placed trees and some not-so-well-placed trees and stuff of that nature. Another thing that I kind of noticed when I was building these sections of the forest is I did all of them kind of in clusters, and each cluster turned out a little bit different. So when you look at it from the overall above view, it kind of looks a little weird because this one will have more dense oak trees, this one will have more dense sycamore trees, this one will have just more dense rocks that you can see from the upper view. And I think that kind of gives it a weird look, and it really definitely gives it a grid sort of look. But I think that I was able to really capture kind of the woods evolving a little bit and changing as I... um went through and worked on the park. So I see here that the video jumped ahead, and I'm going to talk, go back and talk about one little section here that happened. Um, and I'm actually, this is the last section of the forest to cover Forest Lord. Um, it skipped all the parts where I covered all the middle forest, because <laughs> some of that um, actual footage can be a little bit boring to watch. Um, so again, placing the bushes first, I'm going to place the rocks, I'm going to place the trees over. One thing I do want to mention is that you saw me earlier at the top of the third lift hill, I kind of removed some of the bigger trees in front of that, right near the haunted hill kind of area. And I did that because what I wanted to do is I wanted to have that sight line. Because I think that sight lines in amusement parks are very important, especially when you're on a ride and you want to be able to look down and you want to see all the little people below you kind of thing. And so I wanted to, I had some dense trees there and she couldn't really see out of it, which kind of defeated the purse point of the haunted house and kind of having the coaster around it. Because I wanted to have that sight line. I wanted to kind of have like, you're the people, what they give the hill top of the hill you have the house and then right behind the house you kind of have the coaster, coaster kind of curve around so i wanted to make sure all those pieces connected properly and so by doing that i kind of deleted and delete some of the trees to kind of make sure that happened properly all right uh, as i'm going to get into placing trees here in a second um i'm going to hop into more of a general overview of this section of the park just kind of a reminder to make sure that all elements of the park are covered correctly yada 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 because this is actually the last time we'll be looking at this section of the park for a while time as i said we're moving under the river town area so this park contains a few rides. Uh, when you're first walking in it, remember we made that bridge here to the, the right side of your screen. Um, the bridge kind of gives a sight line onto the water tower, and then when you enter the par enter the um, 
enter the Enchanted Forest, there's kind of a mine sort of structure, which kind of gives a cool effect. If you keep going straight past the mine, then you'll see the Enchanted Forest flowers on the wall. Finally, you'll encounter Forest Ward, which is a three-lift hill wooden roller coaster using GCI um, Millennium Fire trains. Um, thrilling, three-lift hills. It's like a four-minute ride, a lot of fun. Um, and I think it contains a lot of com unique elements, a lot of different um, spins, twists, things of that nature. Uh, there also, if you ha take the other path when you encounter that um, total coal minery area, you're going to encounter uh, Viola, which is a triple spin attraction, which kind of has the arms on the arms kind of thing, which is a more kid-based, kind of easier-to-ride attraction for the younger audiences. Across from that, you have Pixie Station, and Pixie Station is obviously there to really help... Um, you know, provide the train stop for the areas because I want all the train areas to really be connected and be all be part of one kind of cohesive unit. Um, finally, as you know, you continue on, you're going to hit the concession stand in some of that area. And um, with the concession stand, I really wanted to make sure that um, people had access to food, drinks, water, everything they needed. Finally, if you continue on, you're going to hit Predator. And Predator is the thrill attraction for this area. and provides a really unique overview and a really unique ride experience with the riding swings over the ride. And uh, finally, we have the Haunted Tail, which provides that great outlook onto the park. You see me here finally going in, touching up some elements, making sure that all the tree density is relatively even. And coming up here is actually going to be a POV, the final POV of Forest Lord, which I think is very interesting that you're going to enjoy, as well as some uh, over, with some music playing over some scene music from the rest of the park. So thank you very much for tuning into this episode. I'll be tuning in, com coming in next week as always, uh, starting on the Rivertown section of the park. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.